Yeah, g'day YouTube, how you going? I finally made it down to the block. Uh, the system's been off most of the day. I've been putting in the uh, current shunt for the battery monitor. And as you can see, the computer's just turned itself back on and everything's updating and doing whatever it does. Um, battery voltage at the moment is 51.6 and battery capacity on is 94% according to the IPS or PIP 4048 depending on who you are and what you're doing there's the current shunt just down there and all I needed to do to add the current shunt in was make up a small length of cable to run into the back of the isolator so this cable just here was wired to the isolator so I've removed that and put it onto the current shunt and the battery side of the shunt, which is this side, goes up to the battery isolator just up there. Um, everything's plugged in, the battery temperature sensor's on. Um, that's what took the most time. I had to take the covers off the enclosure, remove the shelf um, to get to the terminal to um, wire that in. Um, I haven't mounted the Victron 702 yet. I will do. I've just got to go and grab a hole saw and I'll probably just mount it up in here somewhere so that you can see it from the front. Uh, so very quickly, so that's 51.6 volts on there and as you can see on the air uh, it's 51.6.3 and yeah, everything's pretty close. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, that's about it. It's just to let you know that it's been done. Um, I'll contact uh, Jeremy and Chris and let them know what's happening. Then we can get the uh, program downloaded and installed and then I dare say that uh, there'll be a few more videos to follow very closely. Um, once I've inst finished installing the Victron I'll, uh, and got the program up and running, I'll um, do another quick video and uh, see how we go. All right, I'm going to keep it. I mean, yeah, I'm going to keep it pretty short because I've got a new camera and it's yeah filming in 2K, so not sure how big a file it's going to be. Um, one thing that's a bit annoying is this length of the comms cable. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to fold it up and tuck it into the back here and put the cover on to keep it all neat and tidy. But I do have some uh, some crimps, um, so I will shorten that up once I've mounted it into the enclosure so I know how long it needs to be. Um, I've got proper um, crimping tools and bits and pieces to do all that, so there's no need to have all this tucked in behind there and it's yeah it's just a bit of a hazard just to get some ventilation and stuff through there it doesn't you know keep things a bit safer and neater all right youtube hope you're enjoying your day and uh, we'll talk to you later all right